let us see how we can uh, solve this question under binomial still we are still looking at binomial let n be positive integer solve for n in the following equations now I want you guys to understand here there's a technique which I'm going to introduce so I want you to follow me very carefully so we have n choose 3 is equal to 120 so we want to find the value of n and we have been told that n has to be positive okay perfect but one thing we know guys that when we've been given the same uh, concept when we've been given um, n choose r what we normally do is uh, we say n factorial divided by n minus c this factorial then r factorial so it's basically the same principle which we're going to use so I'm going to write this okay I'll say n choose 3 is going to be n factorial divided by n now r in this case is 3 then I'll put them in the bracket I'll put factorial then times 3 factorial should be equal to 120 now we have been told that n has to be positive so as we are solving this we should put in our mind to say n has to be positive when I find that n is negative I'm not going to consider that okay let us continue so now here there is a technique which we are going to use which we call factorial theorem last time guys I, I, I said if I have got 4 factorial this is basically the same as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 of which if I want to end on 2 I can say 4 factorial is the same as 4 times 3 times 2 as long as I decide to end on 2 I'll put factorial because it's not ending there that is the same thing if I have got 6 factorial 6 factorial we know that is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so if I'm decide if I decide the same 6 factorial if I decide to end on 4 it will be 6 times 5 times 4 factorial because 4 factorial then is the same as 3 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 okay so it's as you can see the trend here is that we are reducing by 1 so it's basically the same as if I can I want you to, to understand this point it's very important especially when proving identities for binomial and solving equations if I have got 6 factorial the trend is it is reducing by 1 okay so 6 factorial is the same as 6 in the brackets then 6 minus 1 next will be 6 minus 2 next will be 6 minus 3 and next will be 6 minus 4 now what I mean here is this is 6 if I'm to rewrite this this is 6 times this 6 minus 4 is 5 this is going to be 4 the other one is going to be 3 the other one is going to be 2 so it's 6 minus 5 then I'm going to end up having 1 so it's basically the same thing so it's basically the same principle if I give you n n factorial is basically the same as you start with n as you are going n is reducing n minus 2 so as long as I decide because I don't know where it's going to end as long as I decide to end here then I have to put factorial okay so n factorial it can be written as that so where you decide to end you put factorial sometimes you can say n then n minus 1 if I want to end on 2 if I decide to end here I will put factorial that's all okay so now I need to find a way on how I'm going to replace n factorial so that the n minus 3 should be cancelled out and basically here you can clearly see guys that the only thing I can the only technique I can use to do that is the one which I've written here this one if I can replace n factorial with n open brackets n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 factorial so that n minus 3 factorial should cancel out with n minus 3 factorial on the denominator because I know 3 factorial already is 6 is 3 times 2 times 1 so n factorial I have to replace it with n open brackets n minus 1 n minus 2 and then n minus 3 I decide to end there I put factorial I'm going to divide this by n minus 3 in the brackets factorial that one is basically 6 is equal to 120 okay n minus 3 factorial and n minus 3 factorial can go the only thing I've remained with now is n n minus 1 n minus 2 
is equal to 120 in the on the denominator here I have got 6 so I want to cross multiply at this point at this point in time I no longer need this part so what we are going to have now is this if I cross multiply I'll have n n minus 1 n minus 2 so 6 times 120 6 times 0 is 0 6 times 2 is 12 2 carry 1 then that is going to be 7 now here we need to be very much careful I can't start equating this n is equal to 720 n minus 1 is equal to no 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 because this is a polynomial I've got 3n I've got 3n and then I've got a number now there's a difference between this in a case where we had n n minus 1 n minus 2 is equal to 0. I would have just said because there is 0 here, I would have just said n is equal to 0, n minus 1 is equal to 0, then n minus 2 is equal to, then I solve the values of x. Here I can't equate direct because there is a number outside here which shows us to say this is a polynomial. So the only thing I have to, to expand this, after expanding this, then I shift this 720 to the left hand side. When I shift it to the left hand side, the other side I'm going to remain with 0. So let us try to expand. Okay. Expanding this, I'll first bring n, just this n to be outside, then I'll start now expanding this, those two. n times n, n times n is n squared, n times negative 2 is 2n, negative 2n, negative 1 times n is n, negative n, then negative n or negative 1 that is going to give me like that I, again I multiply by n but before I do that let me first simplify the the inside part so this is going to give me this is equal to 720 so n times n to the power 3 is n to the power 3 n to the power 2 sorry n times n to the power 2 is n to the power 3 n times this is going to give me 3n squared then n times that is going to give me 2n is equal to 720. Now, like I said, this is a polynomial. I have to shift this to go to the other side. So I'll remain with n squared minus 3n squared plus 2n minus 720 is equal to 0. So allow me to put now this one here. So I have got my equation, my polynomial to be n to the power, this is to the power 3, sorry, n to the power 3 minus 3n to the power 2 plus 2n minus 720 is equal to 0. Let's find the values of n. We expect our n to be, to have three values of n because we have got n to the power 3. So polynomial we always use what we call try by error method. So I'm going to start trying numbers, the number which is going to give me 0. And then I'll, I'll, I'll say that is a fact. So, which number can I use? Let's see the factors of 720. Oh, if I try 20, let's try 20, 20 can't. It's going to be a very big number. But I think 10. Let's try 10. Um, if I put 10, 10 to the power 3, um, because 20 is going to give us a very big number and here we, don't, we, we can't have a small number that's, that's the issue again so 10 raised to the power um, 3 it should be 10 times 10 is um, a thousand mm, hundred so again times 10 we should get a thousand Then it's going to be now 3, 10 to the power 2 is 100, plus 2 times 10, minus 720, what are we going to get? 1000 minus 300, then 2 times 10 is 20, minus 7, 20. So this is going to give me 700, 700, 700 plus 
20 is 720 then it's going to give me yes so my first answer should be n is equal to 10 now that I have found n to be equal to 10 since it's a polynomial I go to synthetic division to find the other values of n now I know that n is positive in this case so that's my first answer so I'm going to use synthetic division I'll say 1, I'll have 1, I'll have negative 3, I'll have 2, 7, 20. I bring this one down, so then 10 has to be here. 1 times 10 is 10. If I do plus, it's going to give me 7. So that is going to give me 70. If I do plus, 72. If I do times, it's going to give me this. And indeed, the remainder is 0. That proved to me to say 10 is indeed a factor. So I have now x squared, although we are not using x is n, so I'll maintain my n here. n squared plus 7n plus 72 is equal to 0. Let's solve for x, or for n, sorry. I don't think, I don't think I have factors. The sum is 7 the factor or the, the 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 product is 72 so you know sometimes even if we have the the, the 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 factors but if you don't want to waste time just use a quadratic equation method the bus method the common one as bus method so it will be n is equal to negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a this is my n, my b, this is my c. So n will be equal to, b is um, 7, so I'll put next 7, plus or minus. So b is 7 squared, minus 4, a is 1. So a is 1, c is 720. You know, sometimes I don't want you to waste time. I don't want you and me to waste time. Here inside, if I can see 720 times 4, I'm going to get a very big number. 7 squared is 40, 49. So 49 minus that big number, I expect to have negative inside the square root. Once I've got negative inside the square root, that tells me to say that is a complex number. And we have been told that n has to be positive. So if n is positive, and I discover that in the square root I'm getting a negative, meaning that's not a an integer. It's not a positive integer. It's basically a complex number. So once you reach at this point, just leave it there. Don't waste time. Report to say the only solution for, for, for this equation that n has to be equal to 10. So the only answer here is n is equal to 10. As simple as that. I'm going to use the same technique for part b. But you can try to pause the video. Use the same method which I've used for this question. See if you're going to get the same answer as the answer I'm going to get. Okay, so I use the same thing. I'll say my n in this case, so now, here is the issue guys. In this case, my n is going to be n plus 2, then my r is 4, for the first part, for the left-hand side. So I'll start with the left-hand side. Since we are saying that it should be n factorial divided by n minus r, then minus, oh, factorial times r factorial. So in this case, since I know that I have got my n to be this, so I have to put them in the brackets. Factorial divided by, I'll do the same. n in this case is n plus 2. Then minus r is 4. I'll put them in the brackets. Factorial times r. r is what? 4. Factorial. Has to be equal to, I'll put 6. Then this is just direct. It's just n factorial minus n minus 2 factorial then 2 factorial direct right allow me now to get rid of this I put things in, in order and I'll end up I'll end up having this okay so what I'm going to have now is this so n factor, like I said, I'm going to be reducing one by one, like I said, guys. Okay? So I'm going to be reducing... I'm going to be reducing, like I said, n factorial 
is going to be n okay n minus 1 or I'll start with n anyway that's the same principle which we had anyway so what I'm going to do now guys is this the, the denominator part here if I say n plus 2 factorial the down part is going to be n so n minus so I have got 2 minus that's going to be 2 and then I'll end up having n minus 2 in the brackets factorial then I've got 4 so 4 factorial is the same as 4 times 4 times 3 times 2 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is going to give me 24 okay should be equal to same as I have got 6 then here I've got n factorial divided by I've got n minus 2 factorial then 2 times 1 is going to be just 2 I don't want to complicate things here let's let us go ahead and cross multiply so if I cross multiply I'll end up having I'll start with the, this the top part factorial then again times n minus 2 factorial then I've got also times 2 is equal to if I multiply this part times that I'll end up having 6 n factorial n minus 2 factorial times 24 at this point I can clearly see that I've got n minus 2 factorial so these two cancel then I also have um, I have 2 here 2 there 1 2 there I can say 3 so what I've remained with now is um, I've remained with n plus 2 okay I've remained with n minus n plus 2 factorial only this side then 3 times 24 so 3 times 24 3 12 So I have 12, 2 carry 1, then 6, 7. It should be 72. Yeah, it should be 72. So um, I'll put 72 here. So meaning I've got 72, then here I've got n factorial. This one, let's not forget, I should not even put it in the bracket. Let me just put n factorial. This one. Now, let us let us check something guys let us see something here there's a new thing which I want you to observe very very important okay so I have my equation to be n plus 2 factorial is equal to 72 n factorial now which one do we think do you think we are going to reduce now I'm going to reduce the one for n plus 2 so that I should end up having n then n and n should come and cancel what I mean is this this one if I go with n factorial I'll end up having minus but if I go with n plus 2 because I'm reducing that n definite that n plus 2 is going to be reduced to n so because if I use this is going to be like this and I'll keep on having minus minus which I don't want okay so the one which I'm going to use is n plus 2 so I'll say n plus 2 factorial so let us try to reduce this we said the first thing is write the same way the same thing which is uh, let me just write it from here n plus 2 factorial it, you, write, you first write this the next one that's when now we start reducing so it's like it's going to be n plus 2 minus 1 which is n plus 1 okay n plus 1 next is going to be n plus 2 minus 2 okay which is going to be just n so since I've reached where there is n I'll end there and then I put factorial meaning that this part can be replaced by this part so that n factor and n factor should go so I'll replace that one with n plus 2 n plus 1 times n factorial is equal to 72 n factorial now I can clearly see that n factorial and n factorial can go so I've remained with n 
plus 2 n plus 1 is equal to 72. Once again here you can't say n plus 1 is equal to 72 because this is definitely you have got 2n meaning it is a quadratic equation. So I have to expand this and then I shift 72 to the other side. So it will be n times n is n squared. n times that is going to be to give me n then 2 times that is going to be 2n then plus 2. Okay, because 2 times 1 is 2 is equal to 72. I'll shift now 72. n plus 3 n plus 2 minus c 72 is equal to 0. Of which I know is going to be n plus 3 n then minus 70 is equal to 0. Now here let us see. I think we have the 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 product our product is negative 70 our sum is positive 3 and what are our factors guys come on guys so here we think I think should be 3 should be what 10 and 7 so it should be negative 10 uh -uh, positive 10 should be positive 10 and negative 7 so that when I say positive 10 times negative 7 is negative 70 positive 10 minus 7 is 3 now these are the things I'm going to put here so I have now n squared plus 10 n okay the minus 7 n minus 70 is equal to 0 so let's factor out n n minus or n plus 10 minus 7 n plus 10 is equal to 0. Now at this point since I've got 0 that side and these things are the same I'll just choose 1. n minus 7 and also n plus 10 is equal to 0. What else? The same. So I have got n minus 7 is equal to 0 and n plus 7 is equal to 0. So shift that to the other side n is equal to 7 the other one will also be n is equal to negative 10 now remember our question was saying let n be positive integer so this is a negative integer so therefore this is not the solution the only solution for this equation that n should be equal to 7 as simple as that guys so that is it for question 4 now I'm going to give you a question which I would like you guys to to solve okay based on the same question actually so let's try to say let n be positive integer then we have n uh, choose 2 be equal to 5 n factorial let's find the value of n so go ahead and find the answers I want you to send me the answers you can put them in the comment section I'll be able to see them Okay, that is it for question 4.